guys, welcome bringing you a general reading for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Not date or time specific. I trust that whenever you come upon it, if it does speak to you, it may be your message at that time. And if you're here, let's say, as a Taurus sun and it doesn't resonate at all because it is a general reading, you can always check out the reading for your moon, your Venus, or your rising sign as well. And um, cross watch for your divine counterpart, their sun, moon, rising Venus. You can walk away with a lot of info that way. Okay, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll consider joining us here by subscribing. And for those who are returning, much love and appreciation. I am so grateful for you. And I'm happy to bring you these messages. Oh, here we go. Cheer up. <laughs> Live in the moment. Um, oh, so pretty, actually. Yeah, uh, the morning musing, we opened with the Five of Cups, and I felt like, oh, and I even said, oh, no. What's up, Taurus? Why so sad? So here, cheer up, live in the moment. That may just be for one of you out there, but it has, we are in cancer season. And even though we only have the rest of this week in this mansion, we have the sun in cancer. We have mercury, our thoughts, right? Our mental uh, body in cancer and we Venus just moved into cancer so our emotional bodies are now in cancer and it, cancer is the most emotionally vulnerable sign in the zodiac so if you're all in the fields please understand it's normal it should shift in a few days okay so cheer up <laughs> note to self Ooh, opening with the lovers. What is crossing you here? Ten of Swords. Well, that would explain why you need a cheer up. Um, lovers card with the Ten of Swords. We are, the challenge here, what's crossing you is you've just walked through the end of a painful cycle or you're going through it right now. Tens are done, right? Nines were in completion mode and ten, it's behind us now. Next card out would be the Ace of Swords. So to me, I mean, with the Lover's card being a card of choice, but also of potential reunion, there may be some finality to the end of a difficult cycle in your connection. Underneath, in your unconscious awareness, Knight of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like there's been some slow moving energy here and maybe it's been long and protracted and drawn out for you in the past nine of cups. Um, in this particular deck, if you look at her, she is kind of looking a little forlorn. Usually I see the nine of cups as some measure of emotional balance or wish fulfillment, but the nine of cups can also become sort of complacent energy where you just kind of sit back and you're like, yeah, well, if this is as good as it gets, I guess it's pretty good. You know, it's like there's no motivation to shoot for that 10 of cups. And it looks to me like there's that look on her face of, is this really as good as it gets? Because <laughs> I'm not all that happy as I wished I would be. Um, could be someone was complacent here in the past. What's crowning you? All right, let's go the long, slow golf clap for Taurus. New beginning, a new opportunity here. Oh, thank goodness. That's what's crowning you, meaning conscious awareness. You're like, okay, this is it. This is ended. This is over. Moving forward, uh, onward and upward. It's bountiful. Um, now, it is about commitment too. So it can be an up level. It can represent an up leveling in your connection. You may have just closed out a painful cycle and you may be resetting on some level. Wow. This is in your morning musing twice, seven of swords. Hmm. Wow. In the near future, seven of swords. I'll have to kind of wait. The way that it came through this morning, just for those who are in the channel membership, you get access to the morning musings. And for those who um, sign on for the all access pass to all the extendeds. There are links below for those, you can check it all out. Uh, you saw that what I was saying about the Seven of Swords is like the energy of someone who 
kind of scoops everything up for themselves. And I even use the phrase, what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. Someone who's very quick to take and doesn't give anything in return. So I didn't necessarily see it as cheating, although I guess it could be, but some kind of deception, some kind of a lack of someone, lack of trust in someone's intentions. Yes. Spirit saying, Ace of Cups, we've got an ace, two aces on the table now. There could be whole, a, a brand new opportunity, possible new love coming in for some. For others of you, there might be some resolution to what you've been going through. In the, uncon in the um, hidden energy, I'm sorry, Four of Cups. So in the hidden energy, someone's kind of feeling pretty disappointed, disillusioned, unhappy, um yeah they had their chance right there was that ace of cups on offer from the hand of spirit look closely well yeah there's spirit kind of in that um wisp of a vapor there offering this person the ace and what are they looking at the three they're looking at the three waiting for something magical it didn't happen so this person in the hidden energy someone here is disappointed disillusioned um, could have missed their opportunity. Wow. In your hopes and fears, Page of Cups, I feel like you're hoping for an apology. I'm just going to call it. Um, yeah, message of love, but there's a, some water under the bridge here. Um, and I feel like you're open to an apology. Yes, because that would bring you happiness. I love this in the outcome position. So I am seeing some interesting energy underneath is the King of Cups. That's kind of great. Okay, so cheer up here, Taurus. I feel like the tides are turning. King of Cups, this is about the one you love. Um, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. But it kind of feels like some emotional availability may be rising to the surface. Um, and you may come, you may be done with a period of this person's complacency and not really, um, acting on their feelings or giving voice to their feelings. That may be what has come to an end. I still feel you're struggling with some, um, trust issues here. Wow. Yeah. So I'll say, I'll repeat myself from the morning musing. You have an important decision to make, right? About the direction you're heading. First things first, what do you want? Once you figure out what you want, you'll know if you're gonna offer this person a second chance and forgiveness, you know, the two of you. I mean, this is another card of reunion. So we have the lovers and the judgment card where there is a coming back together, but it's something that has to be born out of um, a willingness to forgive and forget. Um, it is a card of opportunity for second chances in the connection. And here is divine feminine energy underneath. So I sort of feel like it's a mission um, where you have to tap into how much unconditional love you have on reserve for this situation, right? Because as a general reading, I'm speaking to a lot of people at very various different stages in their connection. And if this is something that's been on repeat over and over and over ad nauseum, you might have nothing left in reserve. You might, you know, the tank might be empty. So that's something where you could be coming into like an opportunity for a whole new cycle and moving in a d whole new direction, right? But for those of you who say, yeah, I mean, things got pretty icky, but, you know, I, I, I think I can let bygones be bygones. I think we can put this to bed if I receive, you know, unless and until I receive that message that's something sincere from the heart of this person. So take it as it resonates, but I feel like an important decision needs to be made for sure. And, and, <laughs> and right, because... That's what the lovers is about. The lovers is a card of choice. See where I'm going here? So what's available to you in reserve in terms of unconditional love? Um, how much energy are you willing to put into trying it again, to forgiving, to allowing this, this situation to find its own form of redemption? Yeah, lovers and the two of wands. It's an important decision. It's a choice. But what's crossing you is there's been a painful cycle um, that you're either just completing now or it's just in your rear view mirror. And this person 
may kind of be feeling the emotional distance and they may not like that too much and you just have to decide if you're going to entertain them being in the picture again. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Temperance, and the Page of Swords. Um, interesting with the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords says, yeah, proceed with caution here. Um, you've got some healing to do, some reflecting to do, lots of deep thought before you make said decision. Temperance is saying, you don't need to act on impulse here. Take your time, exercise, lots of self-control and restraint. Temperance is also seeking emotional balance, but through the wisdom of patience. Um, to know that in time, all the energies come into flow and balance one way or another. Everything kind of settles in the neutral position. But for now, move slow, move forward cautiously. This is what's rolling around in your unconscious anyway. So on some level, you know you need to take your time and heal and think things through very deeply. Now, the Page of Swords underneath suggests that, yeah, keep one eye open, you know, um, it's like you kind of look for evidence. You look for things to back up uh, what your intuition is telling you about the situation before you take any action anyway. Okay, so I like that the Page of Swords is there. Nine of Cups in the past. Yeah, we had a good time. Um, I feel like... I feel like you thought maybe you had more going on in this connection and I kind of almost I'm seeing that nine of cups is somewhat a sense like somewhat feeling um, kind of like it's not what I thought it was. It's not what I thought it was. It looks like she thought she was going to have a good time and she's all those empty cups around her and she's holding on to one sitting there by herself, you know, like. What happened? I thought we were having a good time here. I thought everything was going great. And that Page of Wands has a little bit of that energy too, a little bit player-esque, um, you know, the pleasure-seeking Page of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles suggests that there may have been an absence of reciprocity, no real give and take, no real buy-in from um, your divine counterpart, Queen of Pentacles, uh, an opportunity to definitely focus on yourself for a while. Like this to me says that in your heart of hearts, like you were ready for life partnership. You're ready for that next move, up level, commitment. And I don't think you got it. I don't think you got it. Let's look at the page at the Ace of Pentacles. But you might just get it. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Taurus, I love this for you because right now you're mirroring their energy. You're like, I'm ready to take this connection to the next level. I want them to come in with an offer, but I want them to stay. I want them to mean it from their heart. And here you are in your disillusionment, in your disappointment, in your disenchantedness, right? And then guess what? Boom. Knight of Wands, King of Cups. So I do feel um, in your conscious awareness, you are ready for this person to return emotionally available, you know, not missing the opportunity that you feel they, they missed in the past. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, I feel like you, you know, if they rang your bell, you'd answer the door. That's what I see. Now, for some of you, yeah, it can represent a new opportunity based on disappointment that this person comes and goes, because that's another interpretation of the Knight of Wands. So I want to give those of you that that are saying, yeah, I'm not seeing them coming back. We've been through this dog and pony show, um, and they may not be emotionally available for anything more. So for those of you that are in that phase and you're looking at this Ace of Pentacles as it's time for me to move forward. Um, yeah, I can see how that would be um, something that you're mulling in your conscious awareness because you are making an important decision either way. Seven of Swords in the near future. Yes, Three of Swords, wow. Ace of Swords, didn't I say after the 10 comes the Ace? There it is. 
Knight of Swords. Um, let me, let me pull this Ace of Cups first, because the message from Spirit may clarify some of that. Okay. So, I feel like, um, you're going to better understand all the heartache and this lack of trust, this energy of the Seven of Swords. I guess it can be deception, but the way it's coming through is someone just not being forthcoming about where they're at in terms of the connection, right? Not really being on the same page, but they, they kind of didn't deal with it. Maybe gave you, you know, a lot of false hope and then there's a cut and run kind of out, out attitude, like an escapist attitude with the seven of swords. So I'm feeling like there's clarity that may come in about this heartache over this person's lack of forthrightness is, I mean, sure. For some of you, could it be someone that out and out lied? Absolutely. Betrayed you? Absolutely. That's possible. But, but I'm feeling more based on all the other cards that came out is that you're going to have insight into this person's kind of um, lying by omission of fact, right? Answering questions in a way that on some level provides a sense of false hope without actually out and out lying. You know how people do that? That's what I think I see here. And then underneath is this Knight of Swords energy. There may be an opportunity to clear the air. There, this may be you coming forward, un, you know, in, in your unconscious awareness saying, yeah, I need to clear the air. I need to let this person know exactly what I, you know, that I see that I see through it. I see through it. I get it and call them out. It could also be a clearing of the air may be avail available coming to you from this person. That's always possible. But spirits telling you here with this Ace of Cups, we have the Five of Swords and the Hierophant that this person wasn't wasn't honest with you about the level of commitment they were interested in. Hierophant, traditional, committed, conventional relationships. It's a marriage card. It's a, yeah, it can be um, spiritual awakening, but it's not coming through that way. It's kind of coming through like uh, you were fed a bunch of stuff. And that five of swords to me can often be gaslighting. It can also, you know, it can also be just sort of game playing, mind games. And I feel like spirit saying, yeah, they had the opportunity. They played games. They effed around and found out. They didn't want what you wanted. They weren't on the same page. So there is some, some measure with the seven of swords and the um, ten of swords and the five of swords and the ace of swords. There's a lot of... Um, truth and clarity around a situation that you know you're trying to decide is this something that i can forgive do i have enough unconditional love on reserve to give this person another shot there you know that's kind of what's happening here or is this kaput <sighs> hidden energy four of cups there's the Death card, there's the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Wow. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, like, some effort here. I know this is going to sound strange. In the Hidden Energies, I almost feel like your person's wondering if it's too late to change. Right. You know how sometimes people say I can change. I, I, I messed up. I, a, I'm sorry. Right. B, I'm, I'm I totally messed up. I totally blew it. I had the opportunity, but I'm changing. I'm growing. I'm changing. I learned. And there's transformation available with the death card. And then 
then I see like as it almost like morphs into the Knight of Pentacles, someone who's more circumspect, who thinks about the back end, like the, the distance, the future and says, you know, okay, I got to be really clear and conscious in terms of my intentions and how I move forward and cross every T and dot every I and not let this person down again. That Knight of Pentacles is dependable. They do what they say they're going to do. They back up their words with actions and they usually offer something tangible. And here underneath is this 10 of swords. So on some level, they're aware, wow, that was a pretty shitty experience. <laughs> they, don't, they understand that it may be dead as a doornail for you and that things may be over and done with. But it looks to me like they're having, even though I don't see the five of cups, I'm feeling the regret and I'm feeling like this energy of, well, I can't really, I can't really speak about it. I have to show the actions to back it up. So I'm seeing some effort here at change and an, um, you know, their own disappointment that they missed an opportunity, opportunity, and they may be kind of in that phase of, is it too late? And so I don't think they're going to ask you. I think they're just going to take steps to show you with their actions and behaviors. If you see behavioral changes for the better, that's what I think I'm talking about. If you don't, that part of the reading may not be for you. Page of Cups. In your hopes and fears. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Justice. Things are really way out of balance. I feel like it's just too much anymore page of cups nine of swords justice you really want this person to take some accountability there's sleepless nights intrusive thoughts worry stress anxiety are they gonna come in and apologize am i gonna get a message from their heart king of cups which is out twice right are they gonna come from their heart are they gonna tell me how they feel or at least give me some sincere message I can hang my hat on because things feel pretty out of balance. So I do feel you want them to take accountability. That's also part of the justice card. So you can offload this heavy burden. So I do see your hopes, but I see more of your fear that it, you know, it won't come to fruition. Yeah. And I do feel like I see this person taking some action very slowly, um, but I'm not getting a full read on whether or not they're going to come in with a message. I do feel like they may just show up, that there is that energy of that Knight of Wands. So let's look at the sun and your opportunities going forward. Couldn't end on a better note here, Taurus, honestly. The sun with the seven of pentacles, the knight of cups and the ace of cups. It'll take time. It'll unfold organically. They will come from their heart. And if this is a connection that you feel is true twin flame, they are the love of your life. And all this stuff, boom, has to come to an end. Has to change. And that's the message from spirit, right? They weren't honest with you about that. They had their own agenda. And now they know I blew it. So I feel when they come in, if they do come in, it'll take some time, but it will be the happiness you seek with the messages and the offers that you're hoping for. Wow. That you were hoping for in the past and felt so dejected about. All right. I don't normally say it, right? There's the, there's the regrets of the past and the sadness and the sorrow and the grief on your end and the mistakes and the regret on their end. That's what I've been feeling through the whole darn reading. So I love that part for you. So let me tell you who showed up. But before I do that, there's a link just in the top sentence of the description box that will take you to the extended and I'm gonna pull all the cards from your person's point of view. So whoever this King of Cups person is, I'm gonna get their take on the situation, how they see you, think about you, feel about you, their intentions going forward and on and on and on. So that's what we tackle in the extended. Here's what we got. We've got Gemini in the lovers, Scorpio in the um, judgment, that's a card of Pluto. The Empress is Taurus and Libra, card of Venus. She just moved into Cancer, as I mentioned. We've got the Temperance card is Sagittarius. Uh, Queen of Pentacles can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. King of Cups is out twice. Um, 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got the Hierophant is Taurus. Death card is Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio coming through. Justice is Libra. Sun card is Leo. So I feel like I've been on a wild, <laughs> wild ride with you just in this one reading, Taurus, but I see it heading in a good direction. Uh, let's get the impressions from your person. Okay, see you at the extended. Bye for now.